All right, welcome everyone. We are going to get started in child's pose. Bring your knees down onto the ground, sit back, hips towards your heels. Let your arms kind of fall onto the ground. Your head might even rest. Invite your eyes to close. Let your body land heavy on your mat. Notice how you're arriving in this space. And let yourself settle exactly as you are. In our style of yoga, we study the Yoga Sutras. Yoga Sutra 2.46 is Stiram Sukha Asana. This balance of effort and ease, strong, Yeah, E is comfortable. We talk about this balance throughout so many aspects of our practice. And right now in this moment, we're placed in a situation where we have to keep finding balance. Letting ourselves feel emotion on both ends of the spectrum. Effort and ease. As we move through our physical practice tonight, we'll keep exploring that concept of, of balance, of Allowing yourself to feel all of the sensations. Start with a steady, balanced breath. Take a deep, full inhale. In your child's pose, feel your back body swell, your ribs lift away from your thighs. And then open your mouth, exhale. Let it be the same length and power of your inhale. Couple times more, just like that. In through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let it make a sound. Again, in through your nose. Exhale. Feel the vibration in your throat. Start to feel this heat created now. Seal your lips in through your nose. Out through your nose. Steady, steady breath. Press yourself up onto hands and knees. Keep your breath going strong. Let yourself just sway from side to side. Press yourself forward and back, maybe rocking back and forth with your breath. Feel your wrists warming up. Find a 
steady position right in the center, hands strong under your shoulders, fingers wide, knees hip distance apart right under your hips. Pull your low belly in and up. Stay in this neutral spine, but engage your low belly. Uriana Banda. Keep your belly tucked in and now squeeze your bathroom floor muscles, pelvic floor lifting. Everything tight and engaged. Inhale, dump your belly, lift your chin. Exhale, round and arch your spine. And inhale, dunk your belly, look up. Exhale, round and arch. Then curl your toes under. Press into your hands and then lift your knees just about an inch off the ground. Notice how that immediately fires up the muscles in your arms. Feel your core tight and engage. Everything pulled up and in. Feel your breath getting a little bit steadier, a little bit stronger. Good. Drop your knees, sink your hips back, right hand to your right heel. Inhale, lift your left arm up, take a half camel pose, an extra breath here, opening up the front of your body. Exhale, pass through, child's pose, left hand to your left foot. And same thing, inhale to open your front body. Exhale, back through child pose. Hands come out in front of you. Curl your toes under, lift your knees off the ground and find downward facing dog. And allow your feet feel this first inversion. Head hanging between your arms, let it dangle. Bend your knees, bring your ribs towards your thighs and feel the lengthening of your spine. So you're almost in this like crouching down dog. Keep your low belly tucked in and up. Inhale, straighten your legs. Pedal out your knees. Start to walk your feet up towards your hands. Grab opposite elbows, heel toe your feet apart. Give yourself a little sway. Both hands down to the ground. Inhale, bend your left knee. Reach your right arm up. Look up towards your right hand and feel your low belly pulling away. In and up, arm reaching, exhale, bring it down. Switch sides, bend your right knee. Lift your left arm up as you look up. Take a few breaths here. Feel the back of your left leg stretching. Exhale, bring your hands down. Heel toe your feet back together. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, take a side bend over. Any variation, you can grab your wrist or drop your right arm and just reach with your left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, stay an extra breath to cactus your arms. Open your chest, drop your head back. Inhale to reach up, exhale, fold down. Good, inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back and hold in this high plank. Find that position where your hands are under your shoulders, where you feel strongest. Maybe even tip forward slightly. Keep your core engaged, bend your elbows and notice where they go as you lower down. Might feel stronger with them tight towards your ribs. Release your toes to the ground. Inhale, lift your heart up, look up. Exhale, curl your toes under. Send your hips up and back. Downward facing up. 
Slowing it down a bit to start. So you can feel the steadiness and the E, the balance of both. One more big breath in. Exhale, walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back into yourself. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, take a side breath. Any variation. It doesn't have to be the same each time either. Inhale, up. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, that extra breath to find the back. Inhale, reach top. Exhale, fold over, lift the belly. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, one breath this time to step back and lower down. You still aren't rushing. Feeling, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a few breaths right there in that down dog. Can you allow yourself to feel both? The parts that feel good and the parts that are a little uncomfortable. Exhale, push the top of your back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Begin again. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, through center. Exhale, trip over to the left. Inhale to reach. Exhale, bend the back. Inhale, reach top. Exhale, crash down. Inhale, prepare to halfway lift. Exhale, bottom of your motion. Inhale, earn muscles. Exhale, eyes open. Good breeze, feel. Exhale, come to the top of your mat. Stay with me. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Sink your hips down. Inhale, arms reach up. Mukatasana. Tuck your tailbone so that any arch comes out of your back. Squeeze your thighs together. There's all ten toes. Spread them if you can't see them. Set your hips back even more. Lightly place your toes back down. Reach up and look up. Even right here. As you're holding chair pose. Can you feel the strength in the lower half of your body and the steadiness, the softness in your face, in your jaw? Let's take a little bit lower. Take another breath in. Exhale, right arm swings back like a pendulum. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, bend back into chair, left arm goes. Inhale, stand all the way up, take a back bend. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chop to run through the dust, all the way to the bottom. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, right foot steps through, left heel spins down. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one, right foot pressing forward. Feel the strength in your legs. Softness in your shoulders. Exhale, come all the way down. Step it back, bottom of your push. Inhale, up dog. Down dog, left foot step through. Inhale, you rise. An extra breath to feel, to find that balance. Exhale, shine to run them. Up dog, exhale, down dog. Take a few breaths right there. Exhale, empty when come up to the top of your mat when you're empty. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, pull, bend your knees, sink your hips. Inhale, find your chair pose. Exhale, swing back. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, chair with a twist to the left. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, pull. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, strong, all the way down. Up dog and down dog, right foot step through. 
feet back up, drag and side twist. Right arm reaches up. Exhale, bring it down, step back. Adam of your push. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Same thing on the left. Left foot steps through. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, sink back. Left leg is flat. Your toes are pointing up. Keep your chest high. Inhale, come all the way back to the top. Right hand down. Left arm reaches up. Exhale, chop around. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing back. together. Low belly still engaged. What's happening with your breath? Is it still a steady breath? In and out through your nose. Inhales and exhales matching and power in length. Inhale, hop your feet about six to eight inches apart. It's about hip distance. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. Give and pull your shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Peace fingers, 
Wrap around your big toe. Thumb to press down onto the ground. Inhale, look out halfway. Exhale, fold and pull. Elbows bend out to the side. Head is heavy, gaze towards your navel. Each of these shapes now will be in for about five breaths. Some a little bit more. That just means you have time here to feel. Time to breathe right into it. Inhale, look out halfway. Exhale, release that bind of your toes and slide your hands under your feet. Lift your feet up from your toes and step on your palms. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Use your toes to press into your wrist Keep sending your hips up to the ground, up to the sky, as your head hangs low. Yeah. 
low belly pulls in and up. Are you still breathing? Is it still balanced and steady? Walk your hands through your legs. 
little triangle with your finger. The tip of the triangle, the top of the triangle, that's where your head's gonna go. The two bottom corners are where your hands are gonna go. So you might pop your feet in a bit, bring your head down. You might even bring your knees onto your elbows. So then chat around the arms, tighten, squeezing your core. Maybe your toes lift off the ground, maybe they don't. There's no perfect way to do this. You might keep your feet on the ground and just come up onto your tippy toes and practice getting some strength into your arms, bringing the hair, your hairline down to the top of that triangle. Just play a little bit. Now you might bring your knees into your chest and play with a tripod headstand. Just take a few breaths here to play. Some of you might find it easier to come into crow pose and then bring your head down onto the ground. Then your knees are already placed on the backs of your triceps. Squeeze your core. Yes, some of you are lifting your feet. You don't have to go straight up. Think about maybe one leg at a time. Try not to kick your wife, though. <laughs> right, Erica? Good. Good, and if you get your legs up there, see how long you can hang. Keep your steady breath. Notice if you're holding your breath this whole time. Good, slowly bring your feet down to the ground. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, re-root through your feet. Inhale, open your arms to a T. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. Reach your hands down as your chin lifts. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let your hands come over your head. Feel that shoulder stretch. Breathe deep. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, root down through your feet. Inhale, open your arms to a T. Exhale, close the pose, top of your mat. Samasthiti. Inhale, half your feet about six to eight inches apart. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Exhale, take your right knee's fingers and grab your right big toe. Inhale, extend your right leg. Press out through your heel. Stand tall, pull your right shoulder blade back. Lift it as high as you can. 
exhale, place it down, switching sides, inhale, left knee into your chest, exhale, left knee fingers, bind your left big toe, inhale, extend your left leg out, stay on top, again, notice all the little muscles that have to engage, all the little sensations in your right ankle to find that balance. Right now in our own life, we're making all of these little shifts, all of these little changes to find balance. Exhale, peel your leg out to the left. Bring your gaze over your right shoulder. Every time you fall out, come right back in. Soften your jaw. Inhale, bring your leg through center. Exhale, foot comes into your right hip. If that doesn't work in your bones, cross it over your knee. Left arm wraps behind your back. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, hinge and fold. And even if you notice that you lose your breath in the transitions, once you find that shape and you're there for a few breaths, what can you do to invite in the balance again? Inhale, look out halfway. Exhale, stay low, bring your hands to your hips, bend into your standing leg. Inhale, stand all the way up, kick your left that leg out in front of you, and hold it now for five breaths. You got it. Stronger than you realize, keep lifting. In these moments, we're finding our strength. We're seeing really all of this power that we have. Even in the moments we feel weak. Last breath in, lift it as high as you can. Exhale, step it down. Hands from the heart center, sama sisi, go vinyasa, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands into the bottom of your cushion. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hop through, come down onto your bottom. Lift your arms and your legs. Navasana Goku. Effort and ease. Find it right here. It's not easy sometimes. It's easy, it's to be swept away, to get caught up in one sensation more than the other, maybe the intensified ones. But with your breath, you can find that ease again. Keep going. Exhale, cross your ankles, bend your knees, get your knees high into your chest, plant your hands in front of your hips. Inhale, just bump yourself up without pushing back, just bump up. There you go, exhale, come down. Come down, inhale, boat pose, start again. Arms and legs lifted, take any roundness out of your spine. when we lose it. This reminder that it's all temporary. 
Exhale, lower down halfway, low boat. You got it, stay strong, stay strong in your core. Shoulders off the mat, lift your toes, lift your heels. Low boat. You got it, keep going. Spread your toes, legs up towards your face, keep looking. another squeeze and a rock. Good. Plant your feet down onto the ground again. Same idea. Feet hips distance apart. Press down into your feet. Lift your hips. Clasp your hands under your back. Interlace your fingers. Press down through your right foot and inhale. Lift your left leg high. Strong determination to keep your hips lift. Keep your breath strong. And for the knees. Exhale, bring your foot down, release your hands, lower your hips down. Knees into your chest, rock from side to side. Good, now rock up and down your spine until you gain some momentum and rock yourself all the way up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. Inhale, look out halfway. Exhale, fold. Ten breaths and this forward fold. Thank you. 
inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold again, this time over your left straight leg. Inhale, look out halfway. Exhale, fold and twist. So add a little twist into this forward fold. You're looking under your left shoulder. In and out through your nose. Inhale, sit all the way up. Left, the right hand comes behind your right hip. Inhale, come up onto your right knee. Lift your hips and take a side stretch. Gate pose. In and out through your nose. Good. Stay with me. Exhale, look down towards your right hand. Bring your left hand down, turn to the back of your mat. Curl your left toes under, and then slide your right knee behind your right wrist, and swing your right foot underneath towards your left hand. Pigeon pose. An active pigeon. So press down through your legs. Reach your arms up. Take three breaths. Right here. Exhale now, melt down. Five breaths in pigeon and sleeping squat. Let go of the muscle sensation in your legs. Start to walk your fingers towards your body as you sit up. Drop your right hip down, swing your left leg towards the back of your mat. Both legs long, and then we're gonna switch sides. So your left foot now comes into your extended right leg. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold for the twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, the twist deeper. Look under your right shoulder. Keep twisting. Low belly, pelvic floor, still lifting. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, left hand behind your left hip. Inhale, find that knee pose on the left. Right arm swims over your ear. You might even feel good to pick up your right foot and reach back, grab your right foot with your right hand. Take a little bit more of a back bend. Two more breaths. Exhale, turn down, back towards the front of your mat. Curl your right toes under and then slide your left knee behind your left wrist. Right foot swings under your body. Your left foot swings under your body towards your right hand. Inhale, arms reach up. Three breaths in this more active where you're pressing down through your shin, pressing down through your legs. Exhale, melt down. Five breaths. Inhale, walk your hands back towards your body. Drop your left hip, swing your right leg out in front of you. Come all the way down onto your back. Squeeze your legs together like they're one unit. Arms are at your sides. You can even press your fingertips down onto the ground. Inhale, lift your legs up. Exhale, feet come over your head so your hands can find your low back. Take a minute here to squeeze your elbows together, shimmy them together, and walk your hands on your back. Inhale, lift your feet up, shoulder 
first down. So, we'll be here a little bit longer. Find your steady breath. Keep giving yourself those little adjustments to see if you can find a little more height. And out through your nose. Exhale, slowly let your feet come down behind you. Maybe they touch the ground. If your feet touch the ground, you will interlace your hands. Otherwise, keep your back supporting. Hands come to your low back again. Bring your feet back up into shoulder stand. And then play with lotus here. A cross-legged position. So your right foot into your left hip crease. And then your left foot crosses up into your right hip crease. So lotus in your shoulder step. If that doesn't work in your body, you just wrap your legs. Maybe you find eagle legs in your shoulder step. Or come back up to straight legs. And if you have the lotus position, you might even take your hands to your knees and play with that. Good. Unwrap, straighten your legs. Exhale, hands down to the ground as you lower all the way down. All the way down. Now imagine there's a String, tie it around your sternum. And someone's pulling the string up so your heart lifts. Points of contact become your legs, your butt, and your head. Your whole spine is lifted, heart is open. Matyasana fish pull. your heart and breathe. And out through your nose, finding balance. We might find some mornings we wake up and we're feeling heavy. And then there may be other moments where we find some gratitude and joy. And both are okay. It's the balance that makes you real. Staying on one side too long is not good. Let yourself feel. Exhale, come all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Rock from side to side. Let your breath slow down. Open your arms to a T. Wrap your right leg around your left, so think eagle legs, and then drop both knees to the left. So you can use your right leg to help bring your left leg down. Your chin comes to your right shoulder. Close your eyes. Feel your body. Feel your steady breath. Pure and steady.
legs back through center. Unwind and then recross left leg on top this time. Drop both knees to the right. Let your chin drop to the left. Bring your legs back through center. One final squeeze. Any other movements your body needs? And then find your final resting pose. Let your legs go wide. Your arms lay at your sides. Even though you're home, you can still take rest right here. It's so important. Take rest. Shavasana. Sometimes we don't realize 
how out of balance things really were until we're forced to slow down. So this is a time for us to ask ourselves what we're in a rush to get back to. And what do we want to return to? What kind of balance? will we bring to our lives moving forward? Effort and ease. Wiggle your fingers. Bring some movement back into your toes and your ankles. Let your head drop from side to side. Eventually take a big stretch overhead. Gather your body into a big ball. Wrap your arms around your shins, knees to your belly. Give yourself a big squeeze of gratitude and meet yourself with grace more than anything. Grace in these moments. Fall to either side in a fetal position. Press your hands down onto the ground, sit up nice and tall. Hari Om is a, a mantra in Sanskrit that translates the remover of suffering. So as we navigate our emotions through these times keep this idea of effort and ease in mind and stay with your breath in and out through your nose full breath in full breath out bowing to the love the light the courage and the strength in you and me namaste Namaste, everybody. Namaste, thank you. It's just like we're in the club. <laughs> I love you guys so much. So good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, tomorrow we have um, meditation in the morning with Dada. I think Karen's doing yin at 1230 for lunch. And then Danielle is doing a vinyasa class. And again, all of them are tapes. So this one, we're trying to get them all onto YouTube. So oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So, that's great. Um, let me know if you guys need the link for that. That's fun. Thank you. Have a mm -hmm. wonderful night. So good to see everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Natty. I love you guys. We love you. Stay safe, everybody. Stay Thanks, Lisa. Safe. Thanks, Stay everybody. well. Stay well. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, so good. Bye. I felt like voguing yesterday. Right? <laughs> we need to do a video like that, Christina. Voguing. I would love that. Please. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.